Ladies and gentlemen, this is six three-minute rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing these solid black shorts. At the weight he scale, 14 stone, eight ounces. He hails from the Kieran Farrell camp via his home city of Manchester, presenting Adam Williams. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the white, claret and black colored shorts. At the weight he scale, 14 stone, eight pounds, eight ounces. A proud undefeated boxer, 11 contests, 11 wins. Eight of those wins coming by way of knockouts with his trainer, Polly De Silva, hailing from Boston. Here is the undefeated Lyndon King Arthur. Timekeeper of the bell, Gary Grenham from Burnley, Manchester's Darren Sargentson in charge of the action. Six three minute rounds. Village ball field rules, keep it clean. I don't want anything low. Watch your heads. When I say break, take a step. Most importantly, defend yourself at all times. Here we go then. And this one's scheduled for six, but I struggle to see how this one's going to go the distance, Eric. Yeah, especially when you look at Williams' record. He's won two, lost seven, but out of the seven defeats, he's lost five by, by stoppage. So you'd expect Lyndon to fancy his chance of getting an early night for this one. Yeah, but as always, he'll take his time and get behind that jab. He almost stalks his opponent, doesn't he, Lyndon? Yeah, like you say, he'll get behind the jab after looking at his opponent. Pat will have instructed him not to make any mistakes, first and foremost, before trying to take his opponent out of there. He's so sharp, Lyndon, with that jab as well. Just throws a few feints and then the jab fires in. And as we were saying earlier on in the show, we're looking for Lyndon to be stepping up over the course of this year. It's going to be interesting to see what he does as he uh, starts to move his way through the ratings and the rankings. That first right hand is just fired then. Just missed the target slightly. But you can see how sharp his punches are. They're so quick, aren't they? Yeah, that right hand to the body was a, a sharp shot, as you mentioned. He's landed a couple of jabs as well. He's probably going to step it up over the next minute or two and see and see how uh, his opponent responds. Yeah, and John Pegg talked about shape, didn't he? And you can see that Lyndon's got a good shape when he throws his shots. And John Rose on commentary now. Another one of VIP's top prospects, Luke Evans. And Luke, how good is Lyndon Arthur? He's got a, a very good uh, style. He's very powerful. He's a very exciting prospect. And I, I, you know what? I think he's past that stage now. Um, he needs to be start stepping up. I think he's a very good, good fighter. He's looking a bit wary. His opponent now. He took a left hook to the body there. A few uppercuts have sneaked the way through as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, I, I know his coach very well, um, Brian Gardner. He's from my neck of the woods, so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure what advice he'd be giving him here, but he's, uh, he seems to be coping. But Lyndon is a class prospect. <laughs> oh, oh, what a right hand that was, chopping over the top. And that's just the pure power that Lyndon carries. He caught that one with his glove, didn't he? But it still got through and shook him. I think he's going to throw the towel in here. And the towel's yeah. already been waved by Kieran Farrell yeah. and it's all over. Good call. Good call, that. Very good call. Yeah, you always like to see corners protecting the fighters and they've certainly done that because of course. there's only one thing going to happen there with Lyndon. That's it. That's it. Once, once he's got you hurt, you know, he's going to take you out. You, you obviously know what's going to happen. So it's a good call from his corner team. So, yeah. And it seemed like more like a chopping blow to the temple, Luke. Are they the ones that kind of take your senses away from you? Um, honest to God, like, yeah, they do. The, the, it's that accurate of a shot. It, it just takes all the senses away. I mean, it, right, it shakes you right down to your boots, do you know what I mean? So it's the ones you don't see coming as well. In terms of yourself, Luke, when, when can we expect to see you out again? Uh, hopefully uh, September, uh, not September, sorry, uh, November 17th, hopefully. Um, looking to be back uh, making, a, uh, making a statement, hopefully. You had an emotional night the last time you fought. Is it, how, how does it feel when you reflect back on it? That's correct. I mean, it's it, it went two ways, really. I'm glad to be back after a, a long, torrid time out. But obviously, I got an injury as well, and I was uh, I was gutted about that. Um, I'm still, like, I'm, I'm pretty much recovered now, so I just want to get back in there and, and start showing people who I am and 
and get back to where I was before I got attacked. Yeah, and we'll speak to you again in a moment, Luke. We'll hand over to the MC Michael Pass to announce the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 17 seconds of round number one, referee Darren Sargenson has stopped the contest. In his opinion, Adam Williams was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner, now undefeated in 12, professional contest nine, by way of knockout from Muston Linden, King Arthur. And your appreciation, please, for Adam Williams. With Lyndon tonight, ladies and gentlemen, one of the four most hardest hitting punches of the 80s and 90s, former light welterweight champion of Europe and world title challenger, Pat Barris is with us. Give everyone a nice round of applause, please, Pat. There we have it then. And I think Lyndon will be pretty, ha pretty happy with that. Yeah, he should be. It was a fantastic performance. He didn't take uh, any unnecessary uh, punches. Very, very smooth performance. And we were chatting before the show started, Luke, and for you, you're looking at titles next year, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. I'd uh, hopefully uh, get a few six-rounders in and then step up, and hopefully uh, Steve would uh, obviously will put me in the right direction, and, and that's what I want to be. I see all these kids now, all these top prospects coming through, and, and I want to be a part of that, you know. I, I, I've got my own story to write, and, and I guess that's what it's about. But I, I know how good I can be. I know people always tell me how good I can be. So hopefully... Uh, titles are in the near future.